And Aaron Donald has decided to retire after 10 seasons and one of the greatest players of his generation, Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald. Extending a big thank you to the Rams and all of the fans. It's really a surreal feeling when one of the best players in the entire NFL retires. But usually when these players retire, they're no longer at the top of their game. But that isn't necessarily the case with today's retirement. As Aaron Donald shocked the entire NFL and announced that he is retiring from football altogether. So before we get to the content, make sure you drop like, subscribe, and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow. Now that we get all of that out of the way, work! Look right over here, you'll see all of these wonderful human beings that have been able to make some money by playing prize picks. And I give away my picks for free each and every day on my Instagram at the Flight Mike and Snapchat at Flight Mike Snap. And right now they're hooking up my subscribers fat when you use my promo code Flight Mike when you sign up for prize picks. And thank you, prize picks for the sponsor. Mic check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? It's been an absolutely absurd off season so far. From Russell Wilson signing with the Pittsburgh Steelers, Derrick Henry signing with the Ravens, Saquon Barkley signing with the Eagles, Kirk Cousins signing with the Falcons, Mac Jones getting traded to the Jaguars, and Aaron Rodgers running for vice president. No, that's actually a thing. Last night, we found out that the Los Angeles Chargers and Chicago Bears completed a shocking trade to send Keenan Allen to Chicago for a fourth round pick. On top of that, Marquise Hollywood Brown signed with the Kansas City Chiefs. Now the ice cream on the cake. One of the best players in the NFL, arguably the best defensive player in the NFL, has officially announced his retirement. Now, some people took this as a huge surprise, but if you go all the way back to the spring of 2022, Aaron Donald was already flirting with retirement. In an article titled, Aaron Donald at peace with potential retirement, but wants to recapture feeling of winning the Super Bowl, he said point blank on the I am athlete podcast it ain't about the money it's a business at the end of the day that's what right you got, that's what you got to see so it's about when for me it's about winning if I'm, i don't want to play football if i can't win anyway so um i feel like if, the, if it were lying and i got like a real opportunity to win another super bowl then it makes sense to play but again it's still a business we got to handle the business side of things and if, if that wasn't to get handled then you know it is what it is type of situation i'll be fine regardless but me talking about retirement, that was happening way before we won a Super Bowl. I've been saying that since I got into the league, I was gonna play eight years and be done. Mm -hmm. That's just, you know, that's just what I've been saying. It just, it just came out. Now everybody think that, you know, oh he said if he won a Super Bowl he gonna retire. No, I've been talking. I got teammates, coaches, my family know about this. I said. I'm gonna play eight years and I'll probably be done playing football. That eight year mark was in 2021. And he told us that the difference maker here is the fact that he won a Super Bowl and the feeling of winning a Super Bowl is unlike anything else. Winning a Super Bowl, you get kind of get a little addicted to it. It's like, <laughs> I don't want to feel that again though. I ain't gonna lie. That's like, that experience is like no, none other. So um, if, if, if I was to play, it's just to win another Super Bowl, but at the end of the day, it's still a business and it, it gotta make sense to me and my family. And this kind of makes sense because if you draw a parallel to Tom Brady, he won a Super Bowl and then decided to come back and play for a couple more seasons for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, primarily because of that feeling, at least that's what you could presume. Once you actually in that moment, like it's different, it's different, man. It's like, it's hard to put it in words, man, because it's like all that hard work you put over the years, everything you sacrificed to just to play this game, it was like, Mission, it's like complete family completed their mission. Like, it's like, it's just different. Then you get to have your kids, your family on the field with you, playing in the confetti. Every interview I was at, my kids was with me, my wife. Like, it's just, that was just different, man. That's like, it's like, there's no other feeling like it, man. So, when I talk about, you know, me saying I was, I would be done in eight years, but then experiencing something like that, it's like, I want to do everything I can to, like, experience that again. Like, now I'll be like, now I see why Tom Brady can play this game so long, because this guy won seven of these. I'm like... Ultimately, the LA Rams made Aaron Donald an offer that he couldn't refuse. And at least what I was assuming was this was a gigantic leverage play to get the craziest defensive contract in NFL history. The Rams would eventually give Aaron Donald a $40 million raise through 2024, making him the highest non-QB in NFL history at 31 years old, getting $95 million through 2024. At the time, the next closest contract to that was about $27 million because of Aaron Donald 
McDonald alone, he reset the market for defensive tackles and pass rushers. Now you're starting to see other edge rushers get the same type of contract. And all of that came to an end officially today as Aaron Donald once again announced his retirement. So according to Aaron Donald, for 10 years, I have been fortunate to play the game of football at the highest level. I'm thankful for the people I've met along the way, the relationships I've built, and the things I've accomplished with my teammates and individually. I'd like to thank St. Louis for the love and support during my first two years in the league as a St. Louis Ram. And through my eight years as an LA Ram, I would like to thank Los Angeles for the love and support throughout my career as well. California has become home to me and my family, and you all made it special. I would like to thank Mr. Kroenke and his family for building an organization that I was blessed to be a part of. There are too many people in this organization to thank specifically, but I will never forget the relationships. I appreciate everyone on the field, off the field, and behind the scenes that made my job smooth. I know I'm going to miss my teammates and the camaraderie we had in the building, as well as the coaches who will have a lasting impact on me. Throughout my career, I have given everything to football, both mentally and physically. 365 days a year was dedicated to becoming the best possible player I could be respected this game like none other, and I'm blessed to be able to conclude my football career with the same franchise that drafted me. Not many people get drafted to a team, win a championship with that team, and retire with that team. I do not and will not take that for granted. As I turn my focus to a new chapter, I don't know what the future holds, but I am excited about the off the field possibilities. I'm looking forward to spending more time with my wife, Erica, and my kids, Jada, AJ, Eric, and Ollie. The greatest reward was being able to play this game with them by my side, and I can't wait to watch them live out their dreams just as they watched me live out mine. Aaron Donald's resume speaks for itself, man. This is a 10 time pro bowler, eight time all pro, three time defensive player of the year, defensive rookie of the year, Super Bowl champ. And he also has some absurd footage on him of him getting quad quadruple teamed and triple teamed, which is just legendary footage to have of a football player. And I have my own theories as to why Aaron Donald would retire. It comes to one that I think is a little bit of a long shot, which is maybe he felt like the LA Rams would trade him or wouldn't bring him back. Kind of like a oh, Rob yes. Ronkowski Detroit Lions type of situation. But I think the more likely scenario in this case would probably be mainly because he's already felt like he's achieved what he's got to achieve. In 10 years, I don't think there's a player that's been more decorated than Aaron Donald on the defensive side of the ball. He's already won a Super Bowl. He's made about $170 million throughout his career. And most importantly, he could walk away from this game without sustaining any significant injury, which I think is the most significant. I think if he played another three to four years, that's when you start sustaining those injuries that linger for the rest of your life. So I can respect this decision and I think the main reason he's walking away is because he felt like there really isn't anything more to achieve and I could get that. For the LA Rams this is definitely going to be a little bit of a sting because you're losing your best overall player who was still at the top of his game. The LA Rams are also doing right by Aaron Donald according to Spotrack who's still trying to confirm this 100% but they're handing Aaron Donald a 13.8 million dollar bonus on his way out. They processed a full salary conversion this morning and likely will carry the contract into June before they take on his dead cap hit of 17 million in 2024 and 25.2 million in 2025. So for the Rams, this is an absolute nightmare from losing your best player to also having to take on his dead cap hit because you're trying to do right by him as he retires. From a player perspective, I'm very happy for Aaron Donald. He played his entire career correctly. There's so many options for him moving forward. I can't wait to see what he does next. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this. Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.